After the wedding in Cana, Jesus and his disciples traveled to Jerusalem. When the when Jesus came to the temple in Jerusalem, he found the Jewish leaders were not praying to God, but using the temple as a marketplace to make money for themselves. Jesus was furious. He overturned their tables and drove out livestock and scattered their coins. Get these out of here. Stop turning my father's house into a market. One day, all of this will be destroyed and I will replace it with something new. The Jewish leaders heard this and they were furious. What? Who does this guy think he is coming in here and telling us what to do? You see, the very first time the Jewish leaders met Jesus, they didn't like him one bit. Jesus spoke the truth, but they didn't want to hear the truth. They were used to doing things their own way. They didn't want to change. They wanted to go their own way, even if it was the wrong way. But there was one Jewish leader named Nicodemus, who was not like the rest. When he saw all the things that Jesus was doing, and he was curious, and he had a lot of questions, so he came to Jesus in the middle of the night. Jesus told him that everyone who believed in him would be born again as a child of God and have eternal life with him forever. So Jesus began to leave town with his disciples. They left Jerusalem and they began to travel back to Galilee. And the straightest road to Galilee led right through the region of Samaria. But now, before I tell you the next part of this story, you need to know that most Jews despised the Samaritan people. So much so that they went out of their way and traveled all the way around Samaria just to avoid the people there. But not Jesus. He and his disciples not only went through Samaria, they stopped in the village of Shkar. In the middle of town, there was a well. And early in the morning, women of the town would gather and draw their daily water supply. But when Jesus came to town, the women were long gone. For it was mid-afternoon when they arrived. Jesus was tired from his journey. and sent his disciples off to find food. As Jesus was resting, a woman approached to get some water. Oh no, the woman thought, Someone else is in the well. I try to come to the well at this time of day because everyone in town does not like me and judges me for all the things I have done wrong. And as she comes nearer to the man, she saw that the man was a Jew. 
and she became even more anxious. Oh no, this is even worse. Jews hate even good Samaritans. What will this man think of me? But Jesus looked up and smiled. And he said to her, will you give me a drink? The woman was shocked. Jews don't talk to Samaritans and they certainly wouldn't accept a drink from one. So she said, who are you? Are you a Jew asking me, a Samaritan woman for a drink? And Jesus replied, if you knew who I was, you would ask me for a drink of living water. The woman said, sir, you don't even have a bucket. How can you get a drink for me? No, 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 Jesus said. What I mean is that while the water from this well will quench your thirst and give you life all day long, or give you life for a day, what I can give you will satisfy you completely and give you life forever. Sir, where can I get this water? I don't really like coming to this well every day. And Jesus replied, I don't know. I know why you don't want to come to the well in the morning when the others do. And then Jesus went on to tell the woman all he knew about her and her life and all that she had done and the secrets no one else knew. You surely are a prophet from God. And I have heard that the Savior is coming and he will tell us all that we need to know about God. And Jesus leaned over and whispered, I am the Savior. Ah. And just then, Jesus' disciples returned and they were surprised to see Jesus talking to the woman. But the woman did not notice their surprise. She was so overwhelmed what Jesus said that she drew down her water jug and ran to tell everyone in town about Jesus the Savior. The one who had come to bring life. To all who would believe in him. Now Jesus stayed in their village for two whole days. Teaching them and answering their questions. And many believed that day because of what the woman had told them. And after two days, Jesus left. But the Samaritan woman and her village were never the same again. Every time they went to their well, they remembered that true life, living water, only comes from God. <laughs>